and this video I'm going to teach you about for each loop. As you can see, it has some inputs and lots of outputs as well. So you can see that it have in an execution, it means that whenever we want to run this blueprint code, at that point we have to give execution. The array is basically a wildcard type array, so it means that even we will give the integer, string, name, float, byte, bit, whatever we give, it's going to be automatically process it and our output will become. So we don't need to get single every single variable type, we don't need to give each every individual for each loop, we can use that same for each loop for dynamic use case. As a loop body, it's been that if you have suppose element number one, like this one, then two, three. So one on this one, two, and three. So just, just for your understand more better, let me just type here as well. That is one, two, and lastly this three. So we have this three thing, and we can keep that in a one single master variable, which is called an array. Okay. So instead of this array, it's containing all these one, two, three data. Okay. And now our, we can input this thing at here and the element, uh, the array element for each loop. So what will be this function will be two. It will be first run this one, the one, then two, then three. So whatever data will be contained or the variable type it is like the Suppose the one is containing the name of Rhea, the second one is containing Muntaha, third one is Kapurushi. So it's more like one, it first give you Rhea, then Muntaha, then Kapurushi. Okay, it's more like it give you the output result or suppose like GTA 1, GTA 2, GTA 3. The array index is basically give you from here, which is the index of this position, it will be give you the number of that element. The complete is once this full data will be processed automatically, this function give you an execution of one time that okay he processed this full thing and he's done his work. Okay, so this is the actual the explanation. Now let me just show you with a some variable. To create a array variable, you can just click on create a variable. You can give it name anything. I mean anything. Then you can to set the variable type. So suppose let's give a string to and understand better and at the right side you find the variable type change it to single to array now compile and save now simply get it and now we can dance dynamically connect with our array now let's add with execution now at of the loop body let's connect the print string and the array elements let's connect the print string data as well which is string data to understand better like whatever blah blah shit is but for now let me just keep it like this okay now choose your array as you can see i'm really gonna give you now a button to add the array element so like this so let's uh type like a gta1 gta2 gta oh, gta3 okay so now if i click on complete and here now if i click on what? let me just remember okay it's an e keyboard now if i click on play and if i press e you can see it's uh it's execute one two three it's did very fast because this is a very simple data it's nothing <laughs> the engine doesn't need to worry about the same you know looping this three thing okay now suppose you want to also understand which type of position it is at that point uh let's add a format or append i like to use append but most of uh senior dev use the append uh, sorry the format so it's all, all depends on you so now at here the error index you can directly connect that's why i like a string actually we can literally do anything with this thing okay now if i press e you can see it's also giving you the position of that data so zero one two three okay now once you uh, ha you want to get the result okay your process is done you don't want anything more so let's give it that done and then simply connect with complete compile and save click on play see you'll get it done execution as well because it's doing very fast so you don't have to worry and it's giving very fast execution after it done you can add a delay to delay the process of processing as well also let me give you some bonus tricks and tips which is the get and copy so even uh in the utilize you can get a copy individual and get a ref 
So basically there's a difference between this copy and the ref is actually one is the pointer and one is the, uh, the copy version. Like whatever the variable it is, it's going to be keep a value inside of the local one and then it will be give you the output result. But the array, if you get uh, the copy, get, basically get the ref, it's going to be basically give you the automatically that data Okay, the dirt data which you can process actually. Okay, so you can determine the position number with the index value of the array. Suppose if you want to get the index value of two only particularly, you can just keep it here at the two. Okay, and then you can basically simply do the print string like this. Let me just add with the F string. Now if I click on F, you can see I'm only getting the GTA 3. If you want to change the index to 1, now I'll get the what is the index value at that point. See? So this is actually the get and ref actually. So I hope you understand. See you next video. Bye bye.